this learning doesn't start only after the graduation this learning doesn't start only when you open the books learning through observation learning beyond books don't limit yourself only to the books the best times to start with is the graduation judiciously utilize your time of graduation lehron se dar kar nauka paar nahi hoti koshish karne walon ki kabhi haar nahi hoti i on behalf of department of political science welcome you all to this seminar and thank team drishti is and vishal sir for taking out time to join us today we hope you have a great learning experience today drishti is was founded in 1999 by dr vikas dilyakriti and dr taruna varma and since then it has established itself as a premier institution paving the way and molding students into clearing one of the toughest competitive exams of our country the upsc it is in fact one of the top choices for preparing for the upsc examination the vision of the drishti ias is to prepare and groom the students in the best possible ways it has a unique and advanced way of teaching and as there have been more than a thousand selection from this institute it provides a proper plan to the students of how to schedule their time in the most convenient way the institute provides study material and test series in both hindi as well as english languages for the easy accessibility of the students it has opened its doors to hybrid learning as well students can even learn online if they wish to it is known for analyzing the students performance and works on them in best possible ways we are so happy to have collaborated with this renowned institution we welcome you all to this seminar today thank you a very good morning everybody mr abhishek mishra is a senior faculty and interview panelist at drishti ias with educational qualifications ranging from bachelor of engineering llb ma in political science and an mba sir has an exten extensive experience of more than 12 years in mentoring and guiding upsc aspirants through all the stages of the exam we are extremely pleased to have you here with us today so for this opportunity to learn important insights for this prestigious exam thank you sir a very uh, good afternoon to all of you and uh, am i audible okay yes and uh, thank you for the fine introduction uh, of both the institution and of myself so Uh, we are here today to basically discuss how one should go about the upsc preparation and uh, uh, we have with us mr vishal and he'll be telling us about his journey of uh, turning the ias dream into reality but i'll be focusing more on the other aspects of preparation right because we know that uh, upsc or doing upsc Uh, writing ias exam as we often call it it is like a national hobby okay so all of us at some point of time get interested in it uh, it was the same for me i was doing my engineering and i felt like uh, i should give it a shot so one used to read various competitive exam magazines and one got interested no and i also come from a civil services family background my father was in indian forest service so from up close i could see that uh, what is the nature of the job how you can make an impact on people's lives right there are some pressures of the job also sudden transfers are there sometimes the family is also put at some uh, difficulty right if uh, things are not going right and you all know that sometimes political pressures are also there but if we consider it in totality then civil services gives you a very good platform and uh, a platform like no 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 other platform right you can be a ceo of a top company right earning in crores and maybe uh, a billionaire but once you out once you step outside the premises of your company hardly anybody knows you okay even in this age of social media maybe not many people will know you but 
for a civil servant like if you are dm of a uh, district like the entire district knows you by name and when your vehicle is passing people like uh, they become alert okay dm sahab ja rahe hain theek hai so this kind of uh, social prestige is unparalleled and i have seen it from up close and i realize but uh, wo spider man ka ek dialogue aapko pata hoga ki with great power comes great responsibility so that is very true ki agar itni zyada power aapko mil rahi hai so it means that you ha also have lot of responsibility on your shoulders aapko fir wo power abuse nahi karna hai theek hai फिर आप न्यूज़पेपर में रॉन्ग रीजंस के लिए आएंगे ठीक है फिर वो करंट अफेयर्स का पार्ट बन जाएगा राइट वी डोंट वांट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स लाइक दैट वी वांट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द गुड रीजन कि आपको नॉमिनेट किया रैमन मैक्सेसे के लिए और आपने एक्सेप्ट भी कर लिया अगर आप लोग न्यूज़ फॉलो करते हैं तो अभी रिसेंटली द हेल्थ मिनिस्टर फॉर्मर हेल्थ मिनिस्टर ऑफ केरल शी वॉज नॉमिनेटेड एंड फॉर सम पॉलिटिकल रीजन्स शी हैड टू डिक्लाइन राइट पार्टी पॉलिटिक्स वॉज देयर so what i feel that we should do the right thing for the right reasons right and power yeah fascination for power is by itself not bad but if we can mold it in the right direction then it is always good and upsc preparation is a transformational journey right it transforms an individual jo aap the aur agar aap isko sincerely karenge to jo aap ho jayenge iske baad preparation ke baad to मतलब वो एकदम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल रहेगा राइट बट यू हैव टू डू इट सिंसियरली राइट सिंसियरिटी के साथ करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज मैंने बताया ना नेशनल हॉबी है तो एवरीबडी गेट्स इंटरेस्टेड बट नॉट एवरीबडी इज एबल टू डू इट विथ कन्विक्शन सो वी नीड टू हैव दिस फेथ ऑफ कन्विक्शन पावर ऑफ कन्विक्शन राइट आई टेल यू अ वेरी स्मॉल स्टोरी स्टोरी क्या है मतलब वो उसमें एक मॉरल भी है so the story goes like this it's a jain parable basically and uh, so there were many monks undergoing training under a chief monk okay in a monastery now one of these monks was very close to completing his training so the headmaster he called that monk and told him see you are almost about to complete your uh, training so what you have to complete a last final task that i am going to give you he said fine master i am ready so he said that uh, see you can see that uh, mountain top at a distance he said yes i can see it so he said that you have to go to the top of that mountain and that will be the completion of your training so he said okay master i'll start right away and he started on his journey so he continued his journey for multi many days and uh, finally this uh, mountain peak was almost very near but he was still like his mind was agitated and he was wondering that how soon i can reach that point and complete my uh, this training so he was walking past a field and a lady was working in that field so he got this curiosity that this lady must be knowing that how much time will it take me to reach that mountain top so he asked her ma'am can you please tell me uh, that uh, how much time will it take me to reach that mountain top lady did not respond she continued doing her work so he felt that maybe i have not asked loudly enough so let me ask in a louder voice so he again asked ma'am can you tell me that uh, what how much time will it take me to reach that mountain top again the lady did not respond so finally he was also like a uh, delhiite no when we ask for directions and somebody doesn't respond once twice so the natural reaction is anger so we get angry no but here it it was still a monk and not a delhiite so he did not indulge in any kind of fighting what he did okay let me walk and reach by myself no she might be deaf only so as soon as he started walking and he had walked few paces the lady said that you will take 7 uh, hours so the monk was very surprised that i was asking her and she was not responding now that i am walking she has told me the exact time that it will take me 7 hours so what is the point so he asked her that uh, 
I asked you multiple times, but you did not respond. But as soon as I started walking, you have told me the time also, that how much uh, time I will take. So she replied, and here is the moral, right? Her response was that see, I could not have told you how much time it will take without knowing at what pace you walk. ठीक है, आपका pace या जो speed of walking है Without knowing that, I could not predict कि आप कब तक पहुंचेंगे, right? Somebody might take seven hours, somebody might take fourteen hours, and no, it might vary. So similarly in UPSC journey also, it might be about uh, different individuals will have different journey. Somebody will do it in the first attempt, somebody will take two attempts, somebody may take six attempts. So ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई ज़्यादा intelligent है, कोई कम intelligent है, right? It also depends कि every individual will be able to reach his or her destination in their own time and it is our self pacing which will determine how soon we are able to reach our goals and uh, I am happy to see that aap log yaha graduation mein hai still you are interested in uh, doing this civil services because earlier there was this trend that let us first finish our graduation and maybe post graduation and then people used to come to the civil services preparation. But over a period of time, even in interviews, what we have seen that there has been a dramatic shift. Now the candidates are coming at a very young age. Okay, so we find, I think you might have uh, come across Mr. Satyam, right? So uh, he was the youngest topper, like I think uh, two years back. So people like him, they are now regularly coming, and we see that the age has actually reduced. We find very less candidates over the age of. Uh, say 26 coming into uh, coming for the interviews most are below this age right but it doesn't mean that a very good candidate who has done his or her post graduation mphil phd cannot make it everybody can make it it is their own individual journey but yes the early bird catches the worm that is very much true for this preparation so with this uh, i think i'll leave the stage to mr vishal to tell about his journey of making the IS dream into reality. Thank you. Mr. Vishal Narwade, sir, is an IAS officer from Maharashtra cadre. Sir belongs to Buldana district in Maharashtra and did his schooling from Latur district of Maharashtra. Sir holds a B.Tech degree in electronics and communications branch from IIT Jabalpur. Sir has qualified prelims and mains and personality test six times. Sir was selected as an IPS officer in 2016, IRS officer in 2018, and IES officer in 2019 with All India rank 91. <laughs> Sir has proved that patience Persistence and perspiration makes an unbeatable combination for success. We are honored to have your prestigious presence in today's event to enlighten and guide us. Good afternoon, everyone. So it has been six years that I am delivering my address to the students across different districts across different states that include state of Maharashtra, state of Karnataka, state of Bengal and Delhi. I always prefer to have a better reply when I wish them a good morning, good afternoon or good evening. So let's try once again. We are in the Miranda house. We are in, the, we are in Delhi. We should be louder. Good afternoon Miranda house. So I will not give a speech. I will not bore you. Not much of the age gap between you and me. I will try to not to feel the age difference. I will just frankly share what it is and what it is not about. First of all, I am from a small village in Maharashtra, Vidarbha part of Maharashtra, many of us you have not heard about. I feel privileged to be here in the Miranda House, the historical place of Delhi. I feel privileged more so because when my mother, who is just 10th past, who sacrificed everything for me and my sister, she's an MBBS MD doctor and I am an IS officer in front of you, she just taught me throughout her life that if given a choice, 
to share your educational experience with a boy or a girl, always go for the girl child. Because when a girl gets educated, she is not the only one to get educated. It's more about empowerment. And I have delivered so much speeches in the last six years. In 2016, I was IPS. It's 2022. This platform is the most happiest for me because the in front of me, everyone are the women. Women should live in India. In the time to come. So, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me to be here. Uh, being part of administration, we have to change our language. I studied in Marathi, I studied in English, I gave my UPS in English. I have lived in Madhya Pradesh, so my Hindi, and now I am again back to my home state. Okay, in between I was in Bengal and I learned Bengali. And again back to Maharashtra for one year I have to learn the administrative Marathi. So, in the beginning, excuse me for my English. For whatever mistakes I will do it. Please understand the message that I will try to give. Which language you are comfortable with? English or Hindi? Both. So I will talk English. Okay. First of all, I will just try. It. I was a uh, hobby, habit key to read about Miranda House. Can someone tell me why the Miranda House is named as Miranda? Someone should raise the hand and uh, then they should take me. Tell me. There are three reasons, right? So tell me what are the three reasons why Miranda is named as Miranda? If nobody is willing to tell, then your leader, your president has to answer it. Please. Yes? Yes, please. It's the outcome of it, right? Yes, please. That's right. So clap for her. One of the reason is one of the last play written by Shakespeare is in Miranda. There are two more reasons to it. Who can add to it without googling it? Yes, name of the daughter of the founder, the clapping for a prince. The last reason. Last reason I am waiting for. Okay, so if nobody knows it, you can google it and you can tell it for benefit of all. So, okay, so you can google it later on. My point to mention that this is the difference. There is a question where the three components you three different people have answered here. In the UPS exam, this is the only one individual that has to answer it. Right? So, preparation of UPC starts from here. It doesn't start with or after the graduation when you open the books for UPC preparation. So, please, those who have their opens, they have the, their notebook open, their pen on. The first learning from this session is this learning doesn't start only after the graduation. This learning doesn't start only when you open the books, right? Whatever the 20, 22 years of life you have lived till the graduation end, we also learn from the life that we on daily basis we spend. The first learning is that learning through observation is equally important in this preparation. How many of you have gone through the syllabus of UPSC or just aware about it, what it is all about? So, yes, I am very happy that you are aware. So, basically, if I conclude, summarize the syllabus, it is all about what is happening around you. With society, issues, issues being faced by women, issues being faced by transgender, issues faced by, faced by the farmers, issues faced by rural people, like that. Or with geography, with history, with oh, political science, you are the department of political science. And I, I heard that there are students from other departments as well. So fortunately, a sir also had the optional subject as public administration and psychology. And I also had the option of public administration. My point is that don't think that I am again reiterating, I will again continue with the same point that learning beyond books. Right? Don't limit yourself only to the books. Secondly, when to start and how to start and what to start with. 
the best time to start with is the graduation especially the second year of graduation but first year i don't expect you need to enjoy the graduation as well so once you settle in after your first year of graduation the second year is the right time to begin with for your future investment there are multiple benefits of it first benefit is if you start after graduation like me the person who is not aware about the full form of IAS, the one who was not aware about what UPC is all about. When I got placement in Jabalpur for the Bengaluru company, private sector, I was very happy at the age of 21 to get 7.5 lakh package. Happily went to father and father congratulated and he said, it's okay, but I don't want my son to work only at the age of 21. And let's go for higher education. What higher education is all about? Then someone told me yes, there is something called IS, something called UPSC. And I remember that my college computer, I type UPSC is for Union Public Service Commission and IAS is for Indian Admission Service. So you are much, much better than that. You are in Delhi. You are in the capital of the country. There is complete awareness around you. Or in fact, more than what is needed is there. Your struggle is different. What to filter? Second learning is when to start is the right time is the second year of graduation benefit nobody is going to ask you because the one who start after graduation you spend in more and more years they keep asking or they keep asking how many long years we should have for your marriage we are in indian society unfortunately and why i mention this point more so in front of the you all because you will face it more please judiciously utilize your time of graduation and we all know the graduation is we have so much ample of time by doing each and everything academic non-academic enjoying sports and everything whatever you like to do there is always a surplus time that you can invest for yourself right third learning how to start uh, how to start? You have to go back to the school days. It's about NCR days. And uh, the toppers, some of the toppers, if you have heard, they maintain their collection of books from the sixth class. You feel attached to the books because you have gone through it. And you always get confident to travel on the route which we have traveled before. The third learning is the start with the NCRT books. It's so simple. Language is very simple. The objective of reading the NCRT is not to completely be sure to clear the examination. The more important objective is to develop an interest in the subject. To get familiarized with the curriculum, the subject syllabus for the examination. And once you become confident about the subject, you get familiarized, you get interested enough they will switch to the, the books, the reference books we call so. For example, if you are reading the Indian Polity, you can start with your class notes, what you are doing in the graduation. You can start with the NCRTs, for example, Constitution at Work, a very simple NCRT. And then you can directly switch to the exam oriented book, Lakshmi Kant, for example. Right? That, may be the, that should be the sequence, I think. So that gradually you also get, uh, or you evolve yourself over the time. So I'll talk about point, when to start, how to start. Next learning is when to give the first attempt. Generally people think of the graduation that shall I directly appear or I shall skip the attempt. The moment you say the skip the attempt, you skip for a year. So you are in a relaxed mode. Human psychology, sir can understand it more. I am not a student of psychology, but UPSC teaches you about every subject a little later, right? So please don't keep in your mind right from the beginning that I will not give an attempt just up the graduation. Then it doesn't justify your preparation or starting your preparation right from the graduation. Next important learning. Fortunately, unfortunately, I have taken six years to become IS and fortunately, I got my home cadre by being the top 100. 
So I have the experience of both sides, the good side and bad side as well. But why, what I am going to share is on the basis of six attempts, you are aware about these stages of the examination, right? The prelim, main, and interview, all are aware. So you also know the number of people who appear for the prelims, around 8 to 10 lakhs. And then about this, out of this 10, 8 to 10 lakhs, the mains, they get qualified around 15,000, And out of these mains uh, for interview, they call it personality test, around 2,500 get appear. And lastly, the list is of around 700 to 800. And out of this 700, 800, the first around 150, 180 are IS, around 45 are Indian Foreign Service, around 150 to 200 Indian Police Service and likewise. And this varies depending on the vacancies available for the year. Right? And if you do not qualify at any stage, you have to start from a zero next year. So in my case, first attempt, 2013-14. When I was 21 years old, everyone around was telling me, as Sir mentioned, our age of selection of the exam is around 28. So you cannot do it in the first attempt. You are just 21, 22. I came from rural background of Maharashtra. I got feared, right? I got scared. My source of that fearness for me was different, for is different. For you all is a surplus of unnecessary information. So please, next important learning is, it is doable in the first attempt. It is easily doable if terms and conditions are applied, that terms and conditions I will come to later. First attempt, with all that fear and my preparation, I cleared prelims, I cleared mains, I gave the post edit test and I did not have my name in the final list. Then I realize now it's the time not to listen but to act. Now stop listening to others. Second attempt, prelims qualified, again 8 to 10 lakh. Mains qualified. I gave a personality test. Again, I missed by 9 marks. There was no name in the finalist. But I was getting a flavor that I'm just there. Third attempt. Prelims qualified, mains qualified, I gave a personality test. And the name in the list that Vishal Narwadi has Indian Police Service. I was very happy, everyone was happy that he is an Indian Police Service. But my goal was not yet achieved. And there is something called cater system in these services. Cater means state to be to make it simple. I got West Bengal cater. So I went to the National Police Academy, Hyderabad. There is IPS Training Academy. Many of you are aware. And where is the IS Training Academy? Masuri, Labasna, Lal Bahadur Shasir National Academy Organization. Right? So I went to Hyderabad. In between, and joining there was time, so I gave one more attempt. Again, fourth attempt. Prelims qualified, mains qualified, I gave personality test, and I got Indian Revenue Service, which I did not join. Because when I got IPS, I got it clear that I am. A, I will prefer to have the field level jobs, where more public interface will be there. So for two years, they don't allow you to the exam when you are in the training in Indian Police Service. So I gave all that exam, all training of two years, which includes uh, district posting, district training, and I was in the Murshidabad district of West Bengal. Some of you would have heard about it. It is in the Bangladesh border, right? Interesting area. So again, I gave one more attempt where I again give prelims, mains, and uh, interview, and I did not qualify. No improvement in the rank. So 2019, there were Lok Sabha elections. 2019, so I was posted in the field. I performed my job there, and luckily there was 22nd April was the date of election voting, and 2nd of June there was prelims. So if election would have been one month later, I would have not been here in front of all of you. The 22nd April, I conducted elections. It was peaceful. Peaceful from the definition of the West Bengal state. Right. And uh, I took my time one month for the prelims preparation. 
I was into this preparation after a gap of two years almost. I said that two years they don't allow you. It was difficult for me because every year lakhs of students get new people into the examination. So that time again I gave prelims with one month of preparation. I mobilized my all old friends who were preparing from Delhi and I had to prepare from Bengal. So I connected to the mobile. So right from the morning 6 a.m. I was calling them and on the mobile phone only I was preparing with them. So one month with all my experience it helped me. I got to know that I have cleared the prelims. And this was really the last attempt for me. Not only because of the attempts, it was there, but it was also because of the fact that now with the service further, I will never be able to give a time again. So I got clear that okay, I got clear claims. Uh, result come almost one month after the exam, and then there is a mains examination which is just two months uh, in the lineup. I gave my, uh, I I I was on the leave for two months almost, or some sixty days or fifty days. I gave my mains. The day I wrote my mains examination. As far as the mains exam is concerned, today just the mains exam has started this year. There can be no better day, better day to talk to you about this mains preparation. I gave my mains examination from the Raipur, Chhattisgarh. For I wanted a break from Delhi. Before this, I gave a time from Delhi. And I, the day I wrote my mains examination, I was confident that I will not only get an interview call but also with the margin because I was able to judge myself. I gave my interview and this time interview were in the COVID times. Everyone like last 10 days interviews were happened after the COVID. Right? So I had the interview on the 25th March 2020 and if you remember 23rd March 2020 the lockdown was imposed. The lockdown was not only physical lockdown also it was mentally. Uh, it was very draining and so interview call was in the July, the rescheduling one, all with the mask on, the shield on, the spect on, the fog on, those who are the wearing the specs like me they can feel that right and the people sitting in the larger room by maintaining social distancing and you are not able to listen to them, neither they are able to listen to you. In that all limitations there was an interview right. So when result came out, I was in Hyderabad or I was in Bengal, that all India ranked 91 and I was clear that I will get an IS. So those lines I will just repeat which always I mentioned, right, you what this journey has taught me. I never mentioned this journey for my own praise, right, only thing to share that to recall the lines of Hari Vansh Rai Bachchan. Very famous lines. Koshish karne walo ki. So, ek bar kar leta hai koshish. Right. Ki chhe ate dene se mein kya se kao. And believe me, 91 rank when it came, not as a matter of arrogance, it was not a surprise for me. It was not a shock for me. It was just to be going to happen in the line. Itni mehnat thi in saalo ki. Ki aana thi. Kudi dheer ho gai. But it's Ana hi tha. My point to note is that itna vardi banao. And then I will share with you the interview experiences, right? The question test. The question being asked and the rumors among you. The interview is more difficult, right? So let's finish the lines. Lehro se darka nauka paar nahi hoti. Koshish karne walo ki kabhi haar nahi hoti. नन्ही चिट्टी जब ताना लेकर चलती है चढ़ती दीवारों पर सौ बार फिसलती है मन का विश्वास रंगों में साहस भरता है चढ़कर गिरना गिरकर चढ़ना नखरता है आखिर उसकी मेहनत बेकार नहीं होती क्योंकि कोशिश करने वालों की कभी हार डुबकियां सिंधु में गोताखोर लगाता है जा जाकर खाली हाथ लौट कर आता है मिलते नहीं सहज ही मोती गहरे पानी में बढ़ता दुगना उत्साह इसी हैरानी में मुट्ठी उसकी खाली हर बार नहीं होती क्योंकि कोशिश करने वालों की
this examination does not demand a more of talent more of an intellect those who have their pins on please note it down had this examination of a talent of more of intellect in all is officers should have been must have been only from the iits and aims let me share with you very frankly there are my friends who are from iits and aims who are also not qualified the prelims examination there are my friends who have got selected from the iits and aims and they have resigned from the job within a year or two what may be the reason this examination and more so this job demands of patience demands a skill to rise up again after you fall and those who are intellectual those who are more talented those who are the toppers from the first class from the kg to pg those who are the toppers suddenly they got disqualified in the prelims and they don't know how to rise getting my point so if you analyze the average profile of all 180 is officers every year they will be more so average average people like me so please do away with this misconception that you need more of a talent more of a intellect to qualify this examination what is more needed is patience the hard work i'm not saying this because i have got 6 years right never to be misunderstood please the point is that it needs a hard work to qualify in the first attempt you need a hard of hard work of 3 years before that which should which must start from the graduation right next important learning is generally human tendency human psychology again i will keep refereeing sir when we fail we analyze our reasons right but we don't analyze the reasons when it about success right we have a tendency to find out only reasons when there is a failure what about when you get success my point is that please also try to recollect find out as far as possible the reasons for your small small successes so that you can continue your strengths and you can improve on your weaknesses so there are my friends who have qualified the prelims this year they have given the mains they appeared for the interview but not qualified for the final list and the next attempt they did not qualify prelims again why because they have never paused themselves they have never stopped themselves and analyzed the reasons for their success in the prelims maybe acha the throughout this discussion my disclaimer is that i am just sharing my experience it is not the only way to do things i am not claiming to be there are always a thousand almost thousand or 700 800 toppers every year they have their different ways of doing things and they are getting success right so my point is that please also analyze your success the reasons try to find as far as possible if not all you will get some of the reasons so that you can continue on that to talk further about the personal test right how many of you have heard that it's more a very dangerous platform to be the uh, interview of the upsc you have heard some questions are you aware about what question being asked sir is a panelist for the mock interviews so sir is more experienced than me from this side of the table i am more experienced from this side of the table because six times it's taken by upsc on the for the every time to prepare at least i have given 10 mocks you can right i don't remember i think sir would have taken also my mock something earlier so have you heard about some questions what they ask are you aware social media reels there are so believe me there you cannot understand the interview of someone else because that is very individual specific they call it personality test the questions emerge from if i can categorize three things first there is almost a 10 page document they have of every individual which has information about their 
homestay, their education, where they have taken, their post-graduation, their graduation subjects, there are hobbies, interests, leadership, right? There are information like that. Sports, that is one category of questions they ask, right? Second category of question is the current affairs. Like cheetah, cheetah animal is being reintroduced in India now. They may ask about it. Third category of question is situational, on the spot. They will try to test your ability to analyze, to think on the spot. So to make it simple, there are three categories of question. So never think that this interview is very difficult because that is very individual specific process. Right? So from onwards, if you listen to any social media interview, watch it, learn from it. But don't take tension from it. Right? That may change your direction of preparation. That's why I'm cautioning you. Okay? So, like, I came from Maharashtra. I was in IPS. So, there are interviews after IPS also. So, there were some questions I will share. They will ask, why you are not happy with IPS? Why do you want to join, join IS? Right? So, I will not share answers, but the questions I will share. Right? They may ask, okay, are you not happy with the state of Bengal? Or are you not happy with the service IPS? On the category, category of question. They may ask, as an IPS officer, I was on the field. So they may ask difference between the terrorism and Naxalism. This is one category of question, like because it is in the profile. In the current affairs, I came from Maharashtra, so they will ask ki, there is always a demand of separate state of Vidarbha in the Maharashtra. So what is your opinion? It should be made or not. In the COVID, they ask if COVID is an challenge for many, but there is opportunity for some. So can you think about it, those who are making it as an opportunity? These kind of questions. Otherwise, you people listen about that very fearful questions also, right? So don't worry. My point is that uh, this process helped you to evolve over the time, and by the time you will reach to the interview stage, you will be more confident to answer this. Right? So I think uh, I will keep speaking for hours rather than I will speak again, or I, rather than delivering a monologue. Let's have an interactive session. We both will try to address your questions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for such an enlightening session. I would like to request the students if we have any queries or questions, so you may ask. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Uh, sir, I am Saili Pazhare, a student of uh, second year from BA program, Miranda House, and uh, I was also a student of Jawahar Navade Vidyalay, Amravati, Maharashtra. And uh, my question to you, sir, is uh, how to cope up with the distractions while preparing, uh, preparing for this examination? Thank you. Uh, first of all, she mentioned the JNV, Jawahar Nodi Vidyalaya. You are aware? I am also student of Jawahar Nodi Vidyalaya. So, thank you for that. And there was a question of interview on Jawahar Nodi Vidyalaya also. So she asked very, one of my favorite questions. And thank you for the question because I missed during my interaction. What you think, before I answer this question, I will ask. What do you think is the, that, uh, obstruction or distraction or rather let me put it other way what do you think make a reason for success and failure in UPSC please answer kya reason rehte honge ki wo thoda success ya failure mein differ karte honge you can try tell me yes please answer is consistency and patience one of the dimension okay please secondly focused concentration Hard work, discipline. So, yes, please. Mentally balanced. So, I am very happy that I am getting answers which are completely have connotation of humanity. Right. What is more important that we always talk only about the academic factors. 
सक्सेस एंड फेल्यूर कि पढ़ाई ज्यादा हो गई तो सक्सेस मिल गया पढ़ाई कम हुई तो सक्सेस नहीं मिला बट द क्वेश्चन नाउ कमिंग टू यू नाउ दैट क्वेश्चन I strongly believe non-academic factors are equally or more important reason for deciding your success and not getting success. Now, what do I mean that? I call them as the silent killers. So now, sir, I will use your mobile. So one of the silent killer is. All are smiling because they know it. This is the smartphone. Phone is smart, but are you? The point is that if you analyze yourself out of twenty-four hours of a day, for how long you are utilizing this device constructively? Do you think that this is a device of destruction? I always avoided this. now you can utilize it if you can use it constructively terms and conditions apply this is the first silent killer second social media right so whatsapp hi we will say hi how are you i am fine how are you so you don't realize that how much time you have wasted second silent killer is social media especially the now the reels real are like there are any geography students here who are the geography students please raise your hand so they can act, uh, they can appreciate more it's like a cyclone inner inner zone of cyclone social media you get until and you get out of it after one and half hour or two hours oh do baj gaye something like that so please second is social media third फ्रेंड सर्कल मैं आप लोगों की फ्रेंडशिप नहीं तोड़ना चाह रहा हूं बट फ्रेंड सर्कल बिकॉज वी आर इन द एज ग्रुप वेर वी डोंट लिसन वी लिसन बट वी डोंट फॉलो अवर पेरेंट्स अवर टीचर्स वी फॉलो देम लेस बट वॉट यूर फ्रेंड विल से यूर शिव दैट वी इंप्लीमेंट वेरी इंस्टेंटली वी थिंक दैट इट इज राइट तो प्लीज बी वाइज फ्रेंड्स आर फॉर समथिंग studies for something if they are having the same goal it's okay if not then you have to learn the skill how to maintain the friendship and how to also achieve your goal right so please distractions how to stay away from it that was the question i was a person i know i cannot manage multiple things at time so source of distraction itself was removed that was my strategy smartphone no i was using nokia 800 simple my life is simple i am a offline student if you give me online i will take the print out and then i will read so that is my way of doing things right so that is one thing secondly this attempt especially why the top 100 there is a one concept in the mobile stop watch whenever you start reading the first word of a day you will start the stop watch for whatever reason you get up from your chair be it for washroom be it for lunch be it for call pause the stopwatch when you will come back and start reading the first word again resume it at the end of the day when you will realize if we have studied only for 4 hours for 6 hours otherwise hame kya lagta hai humne pura din bhar padhai kari hai din bhar to padhai karte hi nahi hai to not to fool yourself to cross check yourself That is a better device. So, जब हम 10 घंटे when we sit for 10 hours, actually we study for 6 hours. When we sit for 14 hours, we study for 10 hours. So, have you heard the something saying that toppers ki for UPSC or IAS बनने के लिए 18 18 घंटे पढ़ना पड़ता है? Have you heard about that? If next onwards any topper says that, please ask he or she. 18 hours per week or 18 hours per day humanly it's not possible right that's what i'm saying if i have to study for 18 hours we have to sit for 25 hours that's not possible right so please distraction se dur rehne ke liye either you remove the source of distraction or you learn a skill to manage 
and I know when I give the second option, most of them will go for second option, right? So please, do's are equally important in this preparation as much as you being aware about the don'ts. And one of the don'ts is the distractions. Thank you. So now I would like to request Trishti Ayes to launch the work to the faculty members. So after that, we will continue our session. So I would like to request our teachers to please come up on the stage. Thank you so much, ma'am. I would like to request our students to continue with the question answer sessions. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for this uh, insightful session, first of all. Uh, my question is how to cover current affairs, especially keeping in mind that there are so many coaching centers and materials available. So do you think newspaper being an important source, what is the opportunity, uh, what is the cost benefit ratio of reading a newspaper? Do you think that one should just spend 15 to 20 minutes just seeing what are there in the news and then skip to the main uh, current affair notes that are provided by the coaching centers? Or uh, one, one can literally skip newspaper. So her question is regarding that reading a newspaper takes a lot of time. Yeah, right. How many of you read newspapers? How many newspapers? Only one. That's a very good thing, right? Because I have found that they read multiple newspapers, two newspapers, three newspapers. And if I ask them something, sorry, I don't know. I'm not able to recall. Before I answer this question, the book which we have inaugurated, fortunately, it's very near to heart of right because uh, it's about IPS officers. Hosolo ka suffer, right? The book title has Hosolo ka suffer. I was just going through the list of IPS officers, and fortunately, it happens to be that out of that ten of ten IPS officers, with three of them I have spent time, right? One of them is K. Vijay Kumar, sir. We all have heard about Virappan. So he has been the person behind that and he was the advisor to governor of Jammu Kashmir. He was also the director of National Police Academy. Then obviously Kiran Bedi ma'am, we everyone know that. So we made call on to her during our times. And one more IPS officer there, he was from Maharashtra, 26-11, the Mumbai terror attack. So that is also mentioned there. Uh, coming to your answer, I always feel that there are two purposes reading of current affairs. One, be in touch of what is happening around and secondly, the exam orientation. So when I came to Delhi and I was reading newspaper, it, I used to read the Hindu. So you know that the Hindu is a very difficult language to understand in the beginning at least. So I used to take six hours, six long hours to read and understand and making notes out of it. The year I stopped reading newspaper, I got selected into Indian Police Service. <laughs> so it's not straightforward. The question is that uh, reading a newspaper should be just to be in touch on daily basis what is happening, and then you can refer to a coaching material. The coachings are doing a very good job. The competition among them to develop the best of the material every month or every day. So why are you wasting your time? Let's use their material, right? Revise from there, you can highlight that in newspaper what is happening, you read, you underline, taking the notes, then you have to compile it as per the subject, it's very time taking job, don't do that, right? Ah, reading newspaper is must when you get a call for interview, that is must, but for first two stages, you should read only for one hour maximum to get aware what is happening around, otherwise in newspaper what happens, today Prime Minister of India has gone to USA. Tomorrow he has made USA president. A day after tomorrow, uh, he has he will sign the agreements, and last day has come back. We don't have to follow these four days. What is the outcome of the meet or outcome of the visit? That is what only important for us. So I think I have answered your question, right? Thank you. Uh, like current affairs is something which is very close to my heart. I. And like here, uh, Vishal Ji na pucha ki how many newspapers you read? 
तो पीपल सेट ऑनली वन ठीक है मोस्टली आई यूज टू रीड लाइक फाइव ऑन डेली बेसिस राइट एंड दे यूज टू इंक्लूड टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस राइट एंड लाइव मिंट मिंट बेसिकली सो बट इट वॉज नॉट वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग ऑनली द हिंदू इट वॉज वैन आई वॉज एक्चुअली लाइक this uh, executive editor of the drishti current affairs today magazine right so at part of my job it was i was reading all these uh, newspapers like uh, see current affairs is a very critical part of preparation right uh, vishal ji ne jo bola hai i totally agree with him right but the point is ki current affairs how much to follow there is overload of information unhone bola bhi ki filter ki zarurat hai it is not that you have less information you have more information right ab more mein bhi relevant and irrelevant beginner doesn't know then what to do see if you straight away jump to newspaper reading you will be lost you will spend like jaise unhone bataya 6 hours 2 hours 3 hours i think if you are not making much sense of the news what you are reading then even 15 minutes is not worth it so you just need to glance through the newspaper of the day and you go to the websites there are expert teams working on it you can go to www.drishtiis.com and there are multiple institutions websites you go to any any one of these sites which you find good there you can follow right from there very critical points you can note and start maintaining a diary but revision is a must what we say no current affairs that it keeps changing every day but when you follow it for a decent time period you will realize acha seo ka summit to aaj ho raha hai ये तो फिर अगले साल फिर से हो रहा है तो एवरी टाइम यू आर नॉट स्टार्टिंग कि अच्छा अब हम एस के बारे में सारी चीज पढ़ेंगे यू हैव ऑलरेडी रेड इट नो सो ग्रेजुअली इट विल बिकम इजियर टू फॉलो बट व्हाट हैपेंस पीपल लूज पेशेंस पेशेंस इज द वर्च्यू दैट यू नीड टू बी इन दिस सर्विस और यू नीड टू क्वालिफाई फॉर दिस सर्विस ओके सो यू नीड टू डेवलप दैट पेशेंस अगर आप इसको रेगुलरली करेंगे कंसिस्टेंटली करेंगे सो स्पेंड फिफ्टीन मिनट्स फ्लिपिंग थ्रू अ न्यूज पेपर यू लाइक द हिंदू और द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस देन the next 45 minutes you should give to a website from there you follow because they have actually now arranged it as per the syllabus theek okay, hai so relevance aapko dheere dheere develop ho jayega and it will be very helpful so that is how you should start following current affairs and believe me it is very very critical and prime minister of india today is in which place uzbekistan samarkand for the seo summit okay so we should follow that thank you Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, so, my question is that you mentioned that we should start at the first attempt only, and we shouldn't give it more time. But if we do not have uh, much self confidence, or we are slow learners, should we take two years, or should we just keep giving on attempts on attempts? What would you prefer here? And uh, also, how can Trishti IAS help with building that confidence as well? i will answer the first part sir is or sir will answer the second part right i strongly believe if you are starting from zero actually in your case you are not starting from zero because already you have the political science public administration geography as your background so do consider that while selection of an optional subject selection of writing essays that will help you always but my point that i always believe uh, 18 months of preparation will create a very good platform for your exam so if you are starting at least 18 months before you can appear for the attempt secondly i say that first attempt considering that at least 2 years or 18 months before that you have put your efforts so never think that you are a slow learner believe me it's all about psychological it's all about what you think here in your mind so never give input to your mind like this everyone has their own pace and all toppers are learning at different pace it's all about delivering on that day that particular 3 hours like today there was exam 9 to 12 of essay paper yes if you are not confident put your efforts and give next year right how the drishti will help i think sir will answer I understand the question is that uh, for a beginner, how Drishti can be helpful in uh, making your journey smoother, right? 
see we are there to facilitate you in your journey and there are many like us okay so we do not say that we are uh, like uh, giving you something different but yes maybe our approach is different uh, dr vikas dibyakirti you must have seen his videos also on youtube and uh, he like i can definitely say it with pride that he will be one of the most uh, well known teachers and the best teachers you can find okay in the country as of now and uh, the point is that uh, sir has a very student centric approach so in drishti is we believe that uh, student is at the center of our universe for drishti because uh, we are there to facilitate and we are there to help the students so uh, right now we have foundation courses and the foundation courses are basically designed in a way to take you from zero level to the level at which you can attempt the exam and clear the exam right so we have started we have our center in uh, karolbag as well and in multiple cities also in prayagraj and jaipur also we are present so uh, the foundation course is designed in a way that uh, it has a mentorship component also built in in the program so that whatever doubts and queries like for every doubt maybe you cannot approach the teacher right in the class you can ask but even outside of the classroom there are many doubts so you have dedicated mentors who look after these queries and will address it to your satisfaction for hindi medium there are some scholarship schemes also with uh, drishti ias so if any one of you though i think the crowd is largely english medium but for hindi medium we do have some scholarship schemes also then there are various things which keep going on you have batches which are live online so students who are taking regular college they can maybe opt for live online batches where you can maybe attend the offline classes on weekends and you can attend the uh, rest of the days you can take online classes right so that also is very helpful so there are various things i think in brochure and uh, even otherwise our team would be happy to help you out with that so you can let us know so that is it so basically foundation course is for the beginners thank you after the question answers round we we'll also have a scholarship test so i request everybody to please be seated till the end Good afternoon, everyone. It's it was a very insightful session, sir. And my query is like, why do you choose IAS over all other services? And uh, also, apart from that, we would at the student age we also have expectations on like how would our professional lifestyle would look, and that expectations was the reality which we are facing right now. Why I choose IAS over other services? the nature of services has been designed as such there is a huge gap between the you are asking ias as a exam or ias ips matlab ias over the ips irs in any other services other non civil services okay so i am i matlab just to clarify that ki why she uh, she asked that ki i i was in ips i got irs skill i choose for the ias If you analyze the nature of work, I was in IPS. So I was doing job like whenever crime happens, investigation, crime detection, then also the crime prevention, right? All these things. But the domain is only limited to policing, crime, investigation, law and order, VIP duty. That is something that I was in the Murshidabad district, a district known for very backwardness. poverty lot of things whenever i tried to do something i was told it is not the domain of ips it is the domain of civil administration meaning by the domain of is in is when i was for one year in sangli district of maharashtra in pune division you can do all developmental works be it housing road development employment poverty hunger all government schemes regarding these are implemented by the bureaucracy that includes is officer also and also the state officers that is one thing secondly she said ki as a career how it will look like so almost more than 3 decades of career is there right do you know that initially you will get a charge of sdm for one year or one and a half then you become the district collector 
then you stay uh, you perform as a district collector for two three districts for the span of five six seven years and then there is a concept of divisional commissioner it means a head of three to four districts and then likewise you become the state head it's called chief secretary and that is uh, depending on the number of years of service you are putting so what happened in ips after sp chief sp of district okay, they become dig and ig and then dgp likewise so nature of job is very different here again even after the you complete your collectorship in the district at the higher level you have a role to play in the policy making in secretariat right so that is also not there in the ips now how it will look like that and uh, she also asked about the expectation and reality yes a poor person like me who did not have any expectations because i was not aware about is and ips for me whatever is happening for me it is all about reality but yes uh, this job what come to know for us is everything good sides only good thing about it but the job is a challenging one as well it's a 24 cross 7 job because this job gives you a lot sir mentioned in the opening remarks unparalleled social respect the level of indian society where it is unparalleled diversity of work a challenge is inbuilt in the job so those who love to accept the challenge to make life more meaningful more challenging this is a very good platform those who want to chill on right no more tension aram se life katni hai so then it is not the right platform right so basically as per the reality concern yes when it is a 24 plus 7 job you cannot always plan okay this weekend we let's plan a trip to the shimla let's plan to let's trip to the masuri that you cannot do there comes restrictions because you cannot leave the district headquarters always so easily unlike any other job so you are in private sector you have the six working days the seventh day is completely yours right so these are the uh, inbuilt challenges to deal with in the job uh, also our interface in the job come with the public a uh, public is full of diversity right you cannot expect everyone to behave rationally they have their issues which are inbuilt in multiple factors farmers may come up with their issues the street vendors may come up with their issues the industries may come with their issues and you have to deal with all challenges right so that patience that i, I mentioned the patient not only during the preparation of exam also the patient during the job secondly the political interface is a part, we are working under the the bigger gambit of democracy so that democratic interface also we have to learn and that has a challenge is inbuilt in it right so like what happens in other services like suppose private sector our interface is only with our colleagues be it seniors or juniors and not not mostly the outside world here your seniors juniors are there or also the interface with the public with the political interface and with the private sector as well so i think that is also reality right and if i completely tell you all reality then this is not the right time to share okay everyone has a different experience different journey and that's why the book is titled as Hausolo ka Safar, right? So you need Hausla while going on this path. Thank you. So my question is that nowadays we have seen that so many students are clearing the first paper of the prelims, but they are failing in the second paper of the prelims, that is the CSET paper. So what should be the correct strategy to clear that paper? And also, sir, I have another question, like me being from Bengal and the place where you have posted as an IPS and you have prepared further for IAS and today you are here in front of all of us. So, sir, my question is that from uh, being a girl of Bengal, I have seen very less number of aspirants from there. So, what are the various kind of directions or the things on which I should have some handy things prepared, uh, like being an aspirant or from the other side of the interview prospect? What are the things which Abhishek sir really look 
like into a uh, aspirant i miss the first part of the question she said right ah uh, dekho it is more relevant for all of you uh, you are from humanity background right and she said is something that you never wanted to be so now it is qualifying only so 67 marks out of uh, 200 one third first thing that i observed uh, people focus throughout their uh, preparation only on gs and lastly they realize oh she said be hota hai so please don't ignore the she said during your preparation otherwise she said will ignore you so i see yours so solution is first at least if uh, there is exam in the june month of june at least 3 months before that you just open up the cesar paper ask yourself what is your status of preparation do you really need to give the specific inputs or you are comfortable and the last 2 months at least 2 hours per day should be given to cesar that is a more practical way i know saying it easy when it comes to time management when the exam comes closer it's very challenging but please don't ignore the cesar secondly अब सी सेट क्वालिफाइंग है तो उसको लिए कोचिंग लगानी नहीं लगानी दैट इज योर चॉइस ओके बिकॉज इफ यू स्पेंड टू मच टाइम इन द कोचिंग दैट टू फॉर सी सेट देन आई डोंट नो हाउ मच टाइम यू विल गिव टू योर सेल्फ राइट थर्ड नाउ फ्रॉम बंगाल व्हाट शुड आई फोकस ऑन द इंटरव्यू ऑन पर्सनल स्टेज तो यू आर फ्रॉम कोलकाता और विच पार्ट ऑफ बंगाल बाकुरा स्टेट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हर्ड अबाउट बाकुरा not from her from elsewhere you are also from bengal kolkata yeah so i am very happy that there are people from bengal who are aspiring to be part of civil services because at present i think very few state like gujarat bengal sometime chatisgarh their insider vacancies insider vacancies you understand they got they are not fulfilled because there are not enough students who are preparing for civil services insider outsider suppose there are three vacancies for bengal ias for example out of every three vacancies one is for bengali two is for non bengali this is applicable for every state so these are not being filled because there are less number of students from bengal because their logic is badi ke kacha kachi means ghar ke aas paas rehna hai bas they are very happy right so इंटरव्यू के लिए क्या प्रिफर करना है दैट इज योर क्वेश्चन सो वेन यू विल गेट इंटरव्यू कॉल मैसेज में ओके टू वेरी ऑनेस्टली अगेन आई सेड ना इट्स नॉट वेरी जनरल थिंग आई हैव टू लुक एट योर प्रोफाइल फ्रॉम विच स्टेट यू आर और सॉरी विच डिस्ट्रिक्ट यू आर वॉट इज योर एजुकेशन जर्नी वेर यू आर स्टडी दैट वे बट बेंगाल ऑलवेज हैव क्वेश्चन विच आर हैपनिंग करेंटली बेंगाल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स अ लॉट ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स टू द नेशनल मीडिया राइट so basically you can always expect a question like history of bengal the bengal was so much high when we got independence and in terms of development bengal is not doing so well relatively comparatively this question have been asked to me the law and order situation in bengal is always a question then why why there is so much difference between the development in kolkata and non kolkata you can see that right in bengal there is a huge difference between the capital city and the other interior regions these are the question they expect always and they will put you that if you are a district collector of bankura then as a district collector what all initiatives you will take something like that right always the uh, india bangladesh border issues they will keep asking in these questions or india bangladesh international relations these questions you can generally expect but when you will get a interview call do text us do text sir or me we will take care of it or we will try to give inputs okay next question please so i just want or i just want to ask about the notes how to prepare notes or if they all if maybe they need for to give our coaching notes or or it's necessary to prepare or so everyone of you have got the question uh are the coaching notes are enough or shall we make our own notes so that's why the title is coaching notes right notes made by the coaching for us उसमें से काम का निकाल के यू हाउ टू मेक योर ओन नोट दैट इज मेड बाई मी फॉर मी फॉर मी राइट वॉट एपन 
नोट्स मेकिंग इज नॉट ओनली आउटकम एज अ डॉक्यूमेंट कि कोचिंग ने बनाए हैं या टॉपर से बनाए हैं इट इज अ प्रोसेस दैट मेक यू बेटर कैंडिडेट जब हम हमारे नोट्स खुद से बनाएंगे तो यू विल रिमेंबर थिंग्स मोर बेटर अब जब मैं नोट्स बनाऊंगा तो मुझे जो कम आता है दैट विल आई विल हाईलाइट मोर राइट कोचिंग नोट्स आर फॉर एवरी वन इट इज जनरल राइट दे आर यूजफुल हमें उसको हमारे लिए रेलिवेंट बनाना है राइट तो आई आई विल ऑलवेज से दैट प्लीज इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू हैव योर ओन नोट्स प्रोवाइडेड वॉट नॉट टू मेक लाइक सपोज सब्जेक्ट लाइक लक्ष्मीकांत क्वालिटी सच अ बुक इज ऑलरेडी सच इन अ गुड फॉर्मैट वाई टू मेक नोट्स आउट ऑफ इट इन्वेस्टिंग योर टाइम सपोज यू आर रीडिंग हिस्ट्री मॉडर्न इंडियन हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम स्पेक्ट्रम फॉर अ रिविजन पर्पज इट्स ऑलरेडी सच अ गुड फॉर्मैट Similarly, you may find some of the coaching notes in a such a good format. There is no need of making notes. So prepare the notes of those topics of those subjects where already not enough good notes are there, or they are very large, bulky. You have to summarize it. And don't make for those subjects or topics where it is already very well given. Secondly, notes making is also evolution in the process. Today, when you will make the notes, you will make suppose five-page document on that one topic. After some time, you will find something okay. Now they are redundant. You will revise your no notes, and it will become four page, three page, two page. Likewise, when you will go to exam, you will have only one topic, one page document. So that's also a skill. Okay. The more important question she has not asked, how to make the notes? So I will not answer it. So <laughs> how to make notes is a skill where. it will come at time two important inputs are there one is a previous year question papers and secondly the syllabus point by point they have given so for example any topic i may i may take if it is a political science suppose you are talking about a uh, representation of people act what is act is all about what are the components of it need of the act significance of the act amendments the analysis your own suggestions to improve any better act in other countries international comparison implementation of the act if some of them are doing well limitations in the implementation of the act are we not empowering the right agency enough then refer the previous year questions then include those components in your notes so likewise notes should be there believe me if notes are made good you can address any of the questions regarding that topic this is subject examination there is always scope to write the challenge is to write more relevant okay that's all about notes making good afternoon sir my name is samriti and i'm from botany honors department so like you said we should start a preparation from graduation itself but as a science student we have classes from 8 to 5 along with classes and practicals so how can we manage our studies mm -hmm. along with the preparations that's a very good question she is a student of science it necessarily means that she is more busy not necessary okay i am a student of science i know the science very well but yes why you are thinking that only your preparation will start after the classes there is a choice to have a optional subject there is a botany in the list of the subject right so when you sit in your botany classes suppose let's have the syllabus of upsc with you and those topics being taught in the class emphasize on those and start preparation there only we know the pace of the class it goes very aram se for benefit of all you keep your reference books with you or your whatever things are there in botany that is the one thing to look at it secondly 9 to 5 the class is suppose whatever it is for example right there is time after 5 there is a time before 9 that is second thing third thing we know that which classes to attend to what extent you are uh, enough <laughs> uh, judge good judge of your own self right dekho my simple logic is if your goal is there you cannot justify each and everything you have to prioritize everyone has only 24 hours so first thing that remove from your mind we don't have enough time we do have enough time there are students who have not qualified even after giving 12 hours there are students who have qualified even giving 5 hours a day because they sit for 12 hours studies for 7 hours 
you sit for five hours and study should be of five hours and that is another way of looking at it okay so your genuinely your question is correct but you have to think other way you have to take time out of it there is a lunch break there is a snacks break there is a tea break whatever there are multiple breaks when to break when not to break it's your choice right hello anything else sir mai puch rahi hu ki jaise main class se hoon to meri media hindi hai then mujhe ye kahin se coaching ya kahin se aaya tha ki aap kitni difficult hai mere mind mein clear baith gayi ki main hindi medium se hoon to mujhe zyada difficulties face karne padenge iske liye main kya karu ki wo clear mujhe na hindi medium se padhe inka sawal bada sahi hai theek hai मैं जब स्कूल में था तो इंग्लिश मीडियम के स्कूल बहुत कम हुआ करते थे तो तब और उससे भी पहले और 20 साल पहले जाओगे उन्नीस में उन्नीस में तो यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन का सेंटर जो था वो था इलाहाबाद राइट सर नाइनटीन एटीज का राउंड तो वेस्टर्न इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ने ऐसा डोमिनेंस बढ़ा कि अभी इंग्लिश स्कूल में जाने लगे तो ऐसा माहौल बन गया है कि इंग्लिश के अलावा अगर किसी माध्यम से तैयारी करते हो तो बहुत स्ट्रगल होगा तो पहली बात तो ये गलत है इतना बड़ा गलत है क्योंकि तो प्रिपरेशन ऐसी स्टार्ट होती है तीन लोग तैयारी कर रहे हैं एक कोई मराठी एक हिंदी और इंग्लिश तो इंग्लिश वाला यही आगे है और बाकी दो तो पीछे है ये तो पहले हटा दो दिमाग से क्योंकि तो प्रिपरेशन होता ना आपने अगर किसी से एम एस धोनी की मूवी देखी होगी अनटोल्ड स्टोरी वो बीच में जो युवराज को क्रॉस होते हैं and then he says ki no we have lost the match before the match that is like that english that is like that it's like that okay so yahi se start hota hai ki pehla to psychologically right do lose yourself nahi har manni hai isliye us kitab ka kitab ka naam kya tha hausalo ka safar tumhara hausalo ka safar abhi se shuru hota hai jab tum kitab likhoge agli baar ias banne ke baad ips banne ke baad तो हम किताब यही से शुरू करेंगे दूसरी बात हिंदी और अंग्रेजी में इतना ही फर्क है कि मटेरियल कितना अवेलेबल है तो मुझे लगता है जैसे सर ने मेंशन किया था दृष्टि आयस में हिंदी मीडियम पे काफी एम्फोसाइज है तो अब तो ये भी दिक्कत नहीं है अब तो दिल्ली में हो हिंदी मीडियम में किताबों की कमी नहीं है गाइडेंस बहुत अच्छा है और मैं सिर्फ कह नहीं रहा हूँ हर साल हिंदी माध्यम से सिलेक्ट होने वाले कैंडिडेट्स है और बढ़ते ही जा रहे हैं अठारह रैंक और बाईस रैंक बाईस रैंक दोनों हिंदी माध्यम से राइट तो मैं बार बार कह रहा हूं आपको आई बनने के हर साल एक सौ अस्सी तरीके हैं उसमें से आपको एक तरीका चुनना है अच्छा काफी लोग क्या करते हैं नहीं मुझे हिंदी आती है मुझे अंग्रेजी नहीं आती तो मैं अंग्रेजी पढ़ूंगी आई विल लर्न द इंग्लिश मैं कहता हूं इंग्लिश सीखने में जितना टाइम लगा रहे हो उतनी आपकी तैयारी हो जाएगी यूपीएससी की दूसरी बात इंटरव्यू में जाओगे तो भी वहां पे ट्रांसलेटर होता है एक आप हिंदी में बोलोगे वो अंग्रेजी में समझा देंगे या फिर हिंदी भी डायरेक्ट समझ जाते हैं तो आप ये मत सोचो कि इंटरव्यू देने के लिए भी इंग्लिश की जरूरत है नहीं आई ऑलवेज बिलीव लैंग्वेज इज जस्ट अ मीडियम ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन आपको बस सामने वालों को बताना आना चाहिए आप जो कहना चाह रहे हो सामने वाला समझ जाए बहुत तो बिल्कुल भी आज के बाद आप ये मत सोचेगा कि मैं हिंदी माध्यम से हूँ तो मेरी तैयारी में दिक्कत जाएगी बिल्कुल नहीं थैंक यू सर वट आर द पैरामीटर्स फॉर द बेसिस ऑफ अ पर्सन बींग जज इन इंटरव्यू ऑन द वन हैंड वन मे गेट हायर मार्क्स एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड वन मे लूज मार्क्स सो सर वट शुड बी दू नो की फीचर्स वी नीड टू रिमेंबर वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इंटरव्यू सर एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज देट सर इज इट नेसेसरी टू हैव बैकअप ऑफ कैरियर what are the parameters on which somebody who appears for the personality test as it is called or ias interview jaisa ki hum common parlance mein bolte hain to wahan jab koi bhi aa raha hai to what all we are looking at right so i have myself appeared in interview twice right i wrote four mains and that was like uh, ancient india when there were four attempts right so uh, i gave my attempts back then and there was there were two optionals right and now there is one optional and uh, earlier there was no choice to even select the medium of interview it was only english but now the government has done a good thing the upsc has done a good thing 
that they have also allowed the regional languages as medium of interview right so mm -hmm. even the students who are appearing with english can opt for hindi or any regional language as their medium of interview right so that option is there that combination was earlier not available so see when you go for interview what they are seeing is not your factual knowledge that has already been tested right so as uh, vishal ji also said that there are three things some questions will come from your daf detailed application form that you fill after the mains exam after qualifying in the mains exam so that will is bas basically your bio data that will have all the information about you from where you belong which schools and colleges you have studied what marks you have got like sometimes students are very nervous that oh we have scored so low and whether that will uh, bias the interview board so we do have a glance at the marks but it is when you start answering it is how you are answering how you are handling question that matters more to so, wahan right or wrong answer bahut sare questions mein hai hi nahi it is how you are handling the situation how you are handling the question whether you become nervous when you don't know a question and whether you carry that impact to the next question then you are actually losing out on marks lekin agar aapko nahi pata hai aur wo aap see i don't know is a very good answer in interviews sometimes we forget that ki i don't know is a very good answer it also happened in my interview i'll just uh, narrate a little bit of it so what happened like uh, in my fourth attempt with all the burden of this four years invested in this so i was working that time and i went for the interview right my interview was in the second session and uh, like uh, there's a circular room and in that the circular tables are there in the dholpur house so where you are expected to wait for your chance so sequentially you are asked to come so initially like there were around 120 candidates in the room gradually one by one uh, they went for their interviews at the very end like three of us were left after that one more person was called two of us were left then i was called now i was there at 12 in the afternoon and it was like around now 5:15 odd okay so i was totally feeling drained just waiting there you are made to feel like an officer you are given tea and biscuits and everything but still that wait is very painful so when i was called like i was already very much drained so i was called and uh, the chair uh, person uh, miss uh, parveen talha the first uh, a muslim women irs officer she was the chair person so she started reading my daf and she said okay abhishek you have opted for ias and ips so she missed out on ifs like that was my second preference so i thought of correcting her that sorry ma'am i have also opted for indian foreign service so suddenly her expressions changed and i could feel that she became very stern and she said okay oh you are interested in indian foreign service so let's uh, let's talk about foreign affairs okay and she like that time world history was not part of our upsc syllabus and she asked me about israel palestine issue right now i teach international relations so i am very much familiar with that but that time my option was public administration and psychology and i was very good with current affairs but obviously like world history portion was not my cup of tea and she asked me like not the current issue about israel palestine she asked me like what is the actual origin of this issue from where this origin has started and uh, i really got nervous and after that i don't remember like what happened but i started i forgot that i don't know is a very good answer maybe i could have said that ma'am i don't know but that actually did not come to my mind so after that the interview was a blur and finally when i came out i felt like uh, i am going to get very less marks in the earlier interview i had got 180 right from the same board but this time i felt that uh, it has been a very bad show and you no know, like uh, i lost hope eventually finally when the result came out i did not make it in the list but i got 160 which was not so bad considering how i was evaluating my performance my friends who scored less than me they got into the interview because they had scored better in the optional and like some other areas so see in interview you have to keep your nerves if you lose your nerves then the battle is lost so you have to keep your nerves 
you have to take it as a interaction where you are interacting with somebody who is your father's age or mother's age okay to unke sath hum kaise behave karenge unke sath hum bahut zyada formal bhi nahi honge lekin bahut zyada free bhi nahi honge theek hai ek age ko respect karenge to you have to take this interview board interaction as that interaction where you have to speak your mind but respectfully so that is what is seen how you handle the question that matters more and if you handle the questions well then a good in score in interview is guaranteed and believe me gender also plays a favorable role in this so a person coming from miranda house and uh, like uh, if you perform well then a very good score is almost guaranteed okay so sometimes see always we see that patriarchy hai patriarchy hai but yahan shayad patriarchy works in the favor of female candidates right so ye bhi hai so parameters ye dekhe jate hain it is not how how much you know but how you can express what you know theek hai so aapka communication and it is not about high five english like uh, you need to speak something out of the world no nothing like that you have to be pointed aapne dekha hoga vishal ji ne jab bhi koi bhi example aap logon ko diya hai he has been point 1 point 2 point 3 that is the strategy to clear this exam you have to think in points that and in priority of points ye nahi ki sabse jo low priority hai usko sabse pehle likha no the highest priority point at the top and that is the key for main answer writing also and interview and i feel that both are very much related if you are a good main student you are bound to do well in interview also right so that is basically what you have to look for rest of the things doesn't matter like how so good be the cv or the bio data but once you start speaking the attention is totally on how you are as a person right so i think interview is a very interesting part of this whole upsc journey and if it done well a very good score is almost guaranteed like nothing to worry about thank you apologies due to paucity of time we couldn't take the further questions but those were some really valuable and concise questions by our fellow mates we hope this session must have unlocked the answers of some essentially important questions ladies and gentlemen department of political science miranda house would like to thank you all for attending the seminar which was with collaboration with drishti ias it's indeed an honor for us to have you on board sir thank you for taking the time to meet young minds and we thank you for your presence your encouraging sage words your wise remarks and healthy perspectives we really appreciate all the attendees for their presence we hope you all uh, find the seminar beneficial and has learned some valuable insights Department of Political Science wishes you the best for your future endeavors and we hope we keep organizing things which are beneficial for you thank you everybody and have a good day thank you now we'll be starting with the scholarship test so i request team drishti to start with their scholarship test till then we just have one more question she's really keen to ask the question good afternoon everyone and good afternoon sir Uh, you answered a very important question that we can start with ncert books and our courses book but uh, my question is that uh, in case of science we need to read some more magazines like down to earth magazine and science report and down to earth magazine is fortnightly magazine so when to start with uh, uh, the magazines and the current affairs and one more question is that uh, how should we choose our optional subject should it be based on interest or the length of the syllabus as far as the magazines are concerned she asked not only down to the earth but many other magazines bid yojana kurukshetra and many more magazines are there my simple philosophy was for preparation is that you cannot address the peripheral things at the cost of core preparation So when you are done with your core preparation in terms of the syllabus point by point coverage, then you should refer the the magazines. So suppose down to the earth you mention. My point is that you can read it provided you have completed your other syllabus. So science take questions if you analyze from the previous year question bank. In the mains they ask only from the topics they have mentioned. Very specifically point by point topics they have given. For prelims, they ask the objective questions, and if you analyze the again previous questions, you will come to know it is mostly driven by current affairs. So my sincere suggestion, warning, caution is that magazines should come at your as a part of your preparation only when you have completed 
other part of preparation. Uh, what was the second part? How to choose optional? Though, op though, though it is called as optional, it is very compulsory thing to do. So it is better to choose an optional uh, if it is your graduation related, it is good. Not only your interest, interest is essential because optional is something that you have to spend almost 40% times of, of your preparation. If you are not interested, then it will be very boring for you to prepare. Yes, length of syllabus, scoring, how many marks the optional is providing in the recent years, how far the test series is there, coaching material is there, these are also the parameters to be considered while choosing an optional. But interest is equally important. Suppose you are not at all interested in history since the schooling times and only thing other friends are taking history and it is giving marks, so it will not work for you. And be it any optional subjects, it is giving a selection every year. So don't criticize the optional subject, rather find within yourself what is the scope to improve. So with this, I think all question answer session is ended. And once again, I thank you for inviting me here. This session at Mirinda House will always stay with me because after this ministry posting, I will again join back to my cadre Maharashtra. And perhaps when again after some 15-20 years, I will be posted in Delhi, there may be the times to come to Miranda. But whenever I will come to Delhi, this meeting of today at Miranda will always stay with me. I thank you again. And as I mentioned in the beginning, yes, today it's a very good feeling for me that I shared my experience with so many ladies to lead the nation in the times to come. So wish you all the best love and thank you so much. Thank you Vishal sir and Abhishek sir for taking out your precious time and enlightening us with uh, all that wonderful facts and knowledge. Thank you so much for joining us today and I thank all of you for joining us today. Um, now all of you can start with your scholarship test. All the best for that. Thank you so much.